<laughs> what is going on with those wrinkles? I feel like those wrinkles are gonna show up. Right? Wrinkle wrinkles are gonna... Should I use this? Is that... Is that better? Probably... Probably not. It's probably not better. Hey, what's going on with Baldur's Gate 3? Let's travel to the past real quick. Gotta travel into the Gamer David past. Baldur's Gate, one of my favorite PC Western RPG game series of all time. It's my favorite non-tabletop D&D inspired game. Well, it really is a Dungeons & Dragons game based on the advanced edition rule set. Baldur's Gate takes me way back, way back. I was in middle school and I was in Boy Scouts. Yes, Scouts Honor. I was a Boy Scout and I had the best of the Scout Masters. Yes, he was a master of Scouts, but also a master of Dungeons. Introduced me to Dungeons & Dragons, but also introduced me to Baldur's Gate. He got it when it released back in the late 90s, I believe it was 1998. He got a copy, the original copy that had all of those discs. It was crazy, and he let me, you know, try it out myself and install it on my computer. And wow, I fell in love with Baldur's Gate. It became, still to this day, probably one of my favorite uh, RPGs to play on the PC. Now, a lot of my friends at the time were not big Baldur's Gate fans. They were more of the Diablo type. I never got into Diablo. I was always about that Baldur's Gate. I love the D&D rule set happening in the background. It was just mm, Forgotten Realms. Whew, mm, so good. Really loved Baldur's Gate 2. I even picked up the Enhanced Editions and played some Enhanced Edition of Baldur's Gate. And there was always that thing in the back of the head, the back of the neck. Is there going to be a Baldur's Gate 3? And apparently there is going to be a Baldur's Gate 3 as there was an official announcement trailer. Baldur's Gate 3. I'm super excited. Let's check out this trailer. Oh my. So clearly this must be... Is this Baldur's Gate? I mean, Baldur's Gate was a pretty big city in the series. Got some struggles there. Doesn't look like things are going well in Baldur's Gate. Who's this fella? Oh! That man just... <laughs> that man just, uh, uh... What's the term? I almost said ejaculated. He, uh, expelled teeth from his from his mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Look, if you're throwing up, that's one thing, but if you're throwing up with teeth in it, if you got teeth in your throw up, either you uh, ate the head of whatever animal you had for dinner, or uh, your teeth are falling out. I have that dream all the time. Do you guys have that dream where your teeth fall out? I know, super sidetracked, but I, I always have that freaking dream where I'm just... Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes I'm even asleep in the dream when I'm sleeping. Sleep on sleep inception, sleepception. And I'll be like, mm, 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 and I'll feel like, oh no, this tooth is getting loose. Oh, 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 and then they all, eventually they all fall out. What does that mean? Dream masters, let me know. So gross. He's either dreaming or uh, he needs to see uh, a doctor. He might need to go to the medic. He might need to see a cleric. Dungeons and Dragons class. Things aren't going well. Oh, oh! Is he turning into a werewolf? Yeah, it's not dark enough. This is brutal! This is brutal! Mind flare? Is this a mind flare? I guess that's what's in the logo, so it makes sense. Yeah, alright, okay. 
So is it gonna revolve around Mind Flayers? Like a Mind Flayer takeover? I guess I don't recall Mind Flayers uh, expelling themselves from inside your body. It was very alien style, sort of chest burst. I mean, it's just a cinematic trailer. Obviously, there's no gameplay there. I don't know what to expect. Obviously, they're going to have to update the game for a more modern player base, but as long as it's staying true to Dungeons and Dragons and having that rule set happening in the background, even if it is a nice real-time situation, if you can pause and put in commands, that would be amazing. I'd be on board completely. Don't really know, I just really wanted to share, because that's crazy. I'm super excited, Baldur's Gate 3, I'm definitely getting that day uno. I don't buy a lot of PC games at all, really, but this is one that 100% I've got to have it. And apparently I need to freshen up on what I know about Mind Flayers. I'm doing a little research here because I'm trying to remember, do Mind Flayers, I don't even know if they're called Mind Flayers in Dungeons and Dragons, but it, it appears that they uh, they like to live in moist caverns, and uh, the Underdark, of course, is setting in Dungeons and Dragons. Wow, look at me, way behind. So I guess the Mind Flayers do inhabit a host, at least in Dungeons and Dragons biology and lore, and go through a, a sort of transformation, a bit of a metamorphosis. Gross. Ugh, well, the Mind Flayers have infected the world of Baldur's Gate 3, or is that just a cinematic trailer that has nothing to do with the actual story? I, I hope not, because it would be kind of stupid to make a big cinematic trailer all about that. Pretty grotesque, pretty R-rated, though I guess the original Baldur's Gate was, uh, you know, the introduction movie for that was a little grotesque, I mean, for the time. It was 1998, alright? What, what are they gonna do? Okay, it's not gonna be a cinematic masterpiece, but, you know, a guy gets his gets his neck and some blood and gets thrown off the the side of a building. Castle? Castle building? Yeah, I guess a little bit more tame. A little, it's a little more tame than spitting up your teeth! <laughs> but that's the question. In medieval fantasy, what kind of dentistry are you going to encounter? If he hadn't uh, completely been ripped asunder into a mind flare, could he have gotten those teeth fixed? I don't know, I doubt it. I doubt dentistry is important. But it looked like he had a nice set of chompers there until he spit them into his palm. So I'm very excited to see what happens with Baldur's Gate 3. I'm sure I'll share my thoughts as things continue. Let me know, are you a Baldur's Gate fan? Are you interested in this new Baldur's Gate? But I'm really curious, how far are they going to stray from the original traditional style of Baldur's Gate? It's not really something that the mainstream media would think is appealing if they just made a high resolution version of a Baldur's Gate style game, uh, Infinity Engine style, that's probably not gonna happen. The good thing is most of the combat took place in real time, but it was more in setting up actions than really hack and slash. Don't hack and slash my Baldur's Gate. If you don't hack and slash it, I'll be even more interested. I'm gonna try it either way, but the question is, will I try it with disappointment? And here's the thing, are we gonna see Minsk? Is Minsk and his space hamster Boo, his giant miniature space hamster Boo, will they return to Baldur's Gate in Baldur's Gate 3? Gosh, I hope so. Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. I have so many questions, this just, you can't just drop a trailer like that with no information. I want to know, are you still going to be Gorion's ward from the original games? Are you going to be the same main character? Or is this a completely separate new story in, in the, the original tales of Baldur's Gate? Will they not be referenced? I hope they're referenced. Got a <coughs> thread line. Otherwise, why call it Baldur's Gate 3? Am I right? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. This is going to be a little bit different. This is a different thing that has happened here, and I'm glad that Baldur's Gate was able to kick it off. I want to hear from you. I'm going to be in the comments. I, I generally get scared of the comments, but I'm checking those comments on this video. So make sure you leave me a comment uh, answering or adding to many of the thoughts, concerns, and questions in this video. And you know what? I might talk about a few in the next video. Maybe put them behind me on this, obviously. This is just a cloth backdrop. This isn't, this isn't a green screen. It's not, but who knows what we're going to talk about next time. I I don't know, but maybe some other remake or port or something that's, that's coming down the line. Who knows? Who could that be? So we'll see what's going on with that next time. And until then, remember, as always, stay 
digitally distracted, okay? Get distracted by this. Look at all this. What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> I mean, what I really want to know from you is what is your favorite character class and race in Dungeons and Dragons, or if you've played it, Baldur's Gate. I almost always played either a half-elf or human wizard or mage character. Second place, tough, but probably like a ranger. A ranger would be my secondary choice. So let me know what your favorite class and race is in Dungeons and Dragons or Baldur's Gate in the comments below, aka human or half-elf wizard is what you uh, should be writing.